Hey guys, what's up? It's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about tips on how to stay motivated or just how to feel good or better about yourself. I feel like sometimes, especially going into the colder months, it's about to be fall and winter, it's really easy to just lose motivation. Also, I just started school back up. I don't know if anyone else is going back to school. I'm sure you guys are and I am suffering with you. But it's really easy to lose motivation and to have so many things that you kind of just, you know, want to give up and just want to lay in bed all day because that's what I do. So if you guys want some tips on how to stay motivated, then keep on watching. So my first tip would be to make a list. Write things out so you can actually visualize, you know, everything that you need to do. I know that lists really help me. And just to see it, I'm a very visual person. So just to write down every little thing, even if it's something so small, you know what I mean? I feel like I can forget things really easily, so I definitely like to just write down things. But sometimes when I write things down, I see this huge list and it can really feel overwhelming because it's like so many things you know in your mind that you need to do so my advice would be to like choose the top three things that are most important that you need to get done or that are like the number one priority that you need to get done that day so that way you know even though you have a list and you can see everything you need to do those top three things as long as you get those done like you've accomplished something today. And to go along with that if you do accomplish you know things on your list or like I said those top priority things that you need to get done reward yourself you know go get a coffee go get your nails done do something to kind of reward yourself that you know that you've accomplished something so another tip would be to work out I hate working out honestly I I try to and I actually feel like I enjoy running I feel like it does the most for my body like overall just like cleanses me and cleanses my soul but I definitely don't work out as much as I should and every time I work out I just feel better about myself I feel motivated I feel good from the inside out and when I work out it makes me want to eat better and makes me want to you know just be productive because I'm feeling good I'm in a good headspace and I've just cleared my mind so definitely working out so next I would say to get motivated by other people or things that inspire you you know different songs different music if that pumps you up if that motivates you to go work out um, I use Pinterest a lot to inspire me just looking at different pictures different videos on YouTube to get motivated artwork stuff like that and also just people that inspire you you know this doesn't even have to be like celebrities or anything but just people in your life that you think are positive and productive and that you aspire to be more like you know just to have them as kind of a guide what is going on in their life that I want to accomplish in my life or like how do I you know want to take the steps to get to where I want to go and to use them as inspiration to motivate you definitely don't discourage yourself though you know don't compare yourself to other people because we are all on a different journey and all in different lanes my next tip to stay motivated would be to read more reading is something that I just recently um, got into first off I just feel like educating yourself motivates you to be more fulfilled, uh, more open-minded. I'm always down to like learn anything new and just to expand my knowledge on anything. But recently the book that I have been loving and obsessed with is You Are a Badass. This book seriously changed my life. I'm not kidding. If you need some motivation, you need this book. I think I got it off Amazon. It was like less than ten dollars. I'm pretty sure. It says how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. And that's literally what this book is about. It's so just motivating and inspiring and it's a self-help book. I just feel like so many things that are in this book relate to my life and it kind of changed the way that I felt about reading. I just feel like when I used to think about reading I just thought so negatively and like oh reading is so boring it's something like I don't want to do that in my spare time but this book has really changed how I've thought and how I felt about reading because it's like really just inspired me and it's one of those books that like you want to keep reading it because it's so good like you don't want to put it down and it's definitely not boring it's so relatable and you need it in your life another tip to staying motivated would be to change your mindset you know change your environment change up things in your life to kind of inspire you a little bit more. I think that your thoughts and the way that you think about yourself 
really has a lot to do with motivation. I know if I'm having just like a shit day and I'm down on myself and I'm like feeling not good enough, I'm not motivated to go out and do anything. But if I really start telling myself, you know, I am worth this and I deserve this and change my thoughts to more positive thoughts, it definitely motivates you. So I think it's all about just your thoughts about not even yourself, but just life in general, you know what I mean? If you are in a bad, negative mood, and you have such a negative mindset, it's going to be really hard for you to pull yourself out of that and just be motivated out of nowhere. So change your thoughts, change your mindset. Like, an example of that would be if you're debating working out and your mindset is like, I'm dreading this, like, I don't want to do this, I hate working out, I really just don't want to get out and do it. Try to change your thoughts to be like, I'm going to feel so good after I do this. My body's going to feel good. I'm going to be grateful that I did this for my body. Change up your thoughts to a more positive direction to get motivated. So things don't seem so awful and dreadful before you even begin doing it. Sometimes I start doubting myself and start having negative talk to myself before I even get started. And then I don't even want to do it because I'm already in that mindset that it's like, it's going to be so bad that I'm like, yeah, I'm just not going to do this today. I'm just going to sleep all day. And my last tip to staying motivated, I kind of touched on a little bit earlier, but it's just to not compare yourself to others. I think sometimes we're so hard on ourselves and we have to remember that we're individuals and like I said earlier, we're all on different paths and just because someone else, you know, might have this great life it seems on the outside, we never know what's really going on. And just be the best person that you can be and strive to be the type of person that you want to be and the type of person that you want people to perceive you as. So I hope you guys like this video. This is just a few tips you know, that I thought of about ways to stay motivated or how I try to stay motivated. So yeah, also I'm filming in a different part of my room. I know it's a little bit bright, but I'm just trying things out, so we'll figure it out. Alright guys, well I will see you on my next video and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and I love you guys, I'll see you soon. Bye!